The number six car on the inside lane is driven by Steve Blair from Brownsburg, Indiana. He starts 15th today in the DNJ Engines Ford. Rounding out our lineup, car number 91 not making a go today is Rich Segvich. He is a scratch from the event. The 09 car of Josh Timmerman also scratching from the event was scheduled to start 17th. David Campbell's out there in the white and blue 35. He starts on the outside of Steve Blair. Rounding out our lineups, the 51 of Tim Birdwell from Danville, Indiana. As we are ready for green, the Ekoff Motorsports Fall Brawl 40, fifth time for the Sullivan RV Late Model Sportsman at Lucas Oil Raceway as the green is out. And Rick Sullivan, the outside pole sitter, into the lead in turn number one. Outside lane moving forward as Eldon Wright, the pole sitter, slides back nearly a three-wide battle as the seven car of Jason Atkinson, the three-time winner of the series. This season, thought about threading the needle but did not. Coming to lap number one of his scheduled 40 for the division, your leader, Rick Sullivan. Looking to the low side is Jeff Lane. Former CRA Super Series champion Jeff Lane to the inside of Sullivan for the lead. Mid-pack, there was some contact between Brandon Mefford and the 15 of Damon Eckhoff. Hard into the corner as Lane shoots by Rick Sullivan, slides up in front of him. Lambert looking to the outside for second. Two laps down, 38 to go with the strike for Jeff Lane, the new leader on lap two. Lane in the top spot. Battle for second. Mark Lambert, the youngster, on the outside of Rick Sullivan. Sullivan has slipped now into the third spot. He's just not getting into the turns quite as quickly as some of the other drivers up front. Jason Atkinson now challenges for the third position. Side by side as Damon Eckhoff back behind him starts to move forward. The winner of the race in June. Jeff Lane leads Mark Lambert hot on his heels. Running third, Jason Atkinson. Mark Lambert, a former winner of a CRA late model sportsman event here at Lucas Oil Raceway. Back in the field, pole sitter Eldon Wright continues to slip back nearly out of the top seven now. Lambert looking to the outside of Jeff Lane. Lane running a good car length ahead, middle of the corner, then Lambert close coming off of the turn, and Damon Eckhoff continues to move forward. He is into the number four position. Top qualifier, Damon Eckhoff on the move. Early stages of today's Fall Brawl 2011 brought to you by Seal Wrap Repair Tape at Lucas Oil Raceway. Jeff Lane, Mark Lambert, Jason Atkinson, three-car breakaway over top qualifier Damon Eckhoff, who tries to close in the early stages. Atkinson to the inside of Lambert for second. Side by side for the number two position. On the inside lane is Atkinson. On the outside lane is Lambert. Also, Hannah moving up, as well as Sterkowitz, former division champions right there moving forward. And they are now into the top five and six positions for those two drivers, respectively, at lap number seven at the line. For the number two spot, For the number two position, Lambert and Atkinson single out again, down in three and four. Clean and green early laps. First eight laps now in the books without a caution. Back in the field, two and almost three wide. Mefford sideways on the bottom group. Checks up a little bit, and it's a four-car battle up front now. Damon Eckhoff has closed on the first three. Four cars front of the pack, led by Jeff Lane. Finished off in that four-car pack by Damon Eckhoff. And the car stacking up mid-pack now. Rick Sullivan, Brett Robinson, Elton Wright, Brandon Mefford, and the 99 of Fred Hopkins. Eckhoff, who has made a number of moves early, passing some of the fast qualifiers to the inside of Jason Atkinson for the third position. Eckhoff ran away with this race in June. He's had to make a lot of moves early to get to where he is right now at lap number 10, the quarter mark of this race complete, leading Jeff Lane, but Damon Eckhoff 
just moments from now, Ekhoff will probably be out front. He has taken third. He's now taking second. The preferred lane up a few grooves off the bottom of the racetrack here at Lucas Oil Raceway. Not so much for the 15 car of Ekhoff. If you can get your car to work where Ekhoff is racing, lane sideways, Ekhoff will take the lead in turn number four. Damon Ekhoff into the top spot, lane back to second, Lambert third, Atkinson fourth, and Sterkowitz running in the number five position. Jeff Lane's car, the handle going away on that backup ride for Jason Atkinson, the teammate side by side. Lane on the back stretch, slow middle of the back straight away. Lambert made some contact from behind. Got the number two of Terry Cater off the pace in the outside lane down in turns three and four. Terry Cater off the pace up along the outside retaining wall. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get down. Sterkowitz in the 17 able to go underneath. And Caution is out for the first time in the Zekoff Motorsports Fall Brawl 40 for the Sullivan RV CRA Late Model Sportsman. Back to green for the Zekoff Motorsports 40 for the Sullivan RV CRA Late Model Sportsman. David Ekhoff and Jason Atkinson into turn number one. It's Ekhoff taking the advantage, advantage middle of the turn, the outside lane moving forward. Atkinson slipping back of the inside lane will drop into line right behind Ekhoff at the front of the field. 14 laps to go this time by the lead four pack, single file, side by side battle for fifth. Hannah on the outside of Lambert. Side by side for the number three spot, Sterkowitz on the inside. On the outside is Jeff Lane for the third position. Terry Cater, the cause of the last caution, back out on the raceway. He went pit side probably to change a tire. He's back out on the raceway in that number two car. Ekhoff pulling away from Jason Atkinson's Keith Sterkowitz. Jeff Lane and Mark Lambert, the top five in the sixth spot. Charlie Hanna running seventh. Hopkins to the inside of Hanna. At lap number 28. Keith Sterkowitz looking low on the number seven of Jason Atkinson. Both are closing quickly in turn three on the 15 of Damon Ekhoff. Ekhoff didn't get into turn three real well that time. Hopefully for Ekhoff, not a problem on his car. Fine down the front stretch and pulls back out to a five car length lead. And the second goes Sterkowitz. Jeff Lane's car coming around a little bit. Jeff Lane challenging his teammate, Jason Atkinson. Lane the leader early on. Also, Fred Hopkins, who had a good car in practice yesterday, didn't qualify so well, passing two-time series champion Charlie Hanna. He's just one spot out of a top five now in six. Ten to go. 30 laps in, ten to go for the Sullivan RV CRE late model sportsman, Ekhoff Motorsports, 40 lapper. And Lucas Oil Raceway, the JEG CRA All-Stars Tour 100 coming up next. Can Sterkowitz close it all on the number 15 of Ekhoff? Right now, the lead is close to 10 car lengths. Sterkowitz actually looks like he's losing a little bit of ground to the leader, Ekhoff. They are the top two from qualifying. They started in the eighth and seventh positions, respectively. They've moved from that row number four up into the top two spots. Plenty of passing over the first 30 laps or so of this race. It's a good sign of all of the races that we have coming up this afternoon. Four more events after the Sullivan RV late model sportsman 40 lapper. 
Single file around the track. One of the drivers making a move. Middle of the back stretch. Terry Cater drops to the inside of Rick Sullivan. Sullivan problems yesterday in practice. Qualified pretty well. Made the invert. Started second in today's race. Dropped back early. And now is being challenged by the number two of Terry Cater. That's for a spot out of the top ten. Ekhoff's lead is stabilized over Keith Sturkowitz and Jason Atkinson. Seven laps, make it six laps to go that time. Watching Sullivan and Terry Cater for that spot out of the top ten. Sullivan really closing the door on the number two car of Cater down at the bottom of the track. Might end up being some contact there with five laps to go. Damon Eckhoff in the 15 sees the signal from Chief Starter Brian Duncan. Mark Lambert off the pace in the 18. Lambert, who is running in the fifth position, off the pace in turns three and four, rolling around near the outside retaining wall. Most likely he's going to bring out a caution. Look out as oncoming traffic sees him on the high side. Birdwell able to get slowed down just in time of the 51. And caution is out for Lambert. Mark Lambert in car number 18, fourth in the division points, has slowed and come to a stop outside lane off of turn number Green four. Is back out. Five laps to go for Damon Eckhoff, trying to go two for two at Lucas Oil Raceway in the Solvent RV Late Model Sportsman Division in 2011. To the outside of Sturkowitz for second is Atkinson. Side by side, make it Jeff Lane trying to take second back. Atkinson's fallen now to the number four spot. And Hopkins into the top five, racing with Charlie Hanna. Four laps to go. 36 in for Damon Eckhoff. And the battle for second continues. Sturkowitz working hard for it. And he does have Jeff Lane by inches at the line. Lane now will slip into the third position. Sturkowitz will close the door on him coming off the corner. Here comes Atkinson to the inside. Gets by Jeff Lane. Jason Atkinson racing with his team car. Jeff Lane on the outside. Atkinson on the inside. Three laps to go for Damon Eckhoff. Lane so far holding off Atkinson in the number three position. Side by side for third. Atkinson on the inside of Jeff Lane. Lane holds on to the position. Moving closer to the fourth spot battle would be the 99 car. Fred Hopkins, two to go. Two laps to go for Damon Eckhoff. Side by side continues in that third spot. The seven of Jason Atkinson racing with Jeff Lane. Does not look like he's going to be able to get him. Lane just strong enough to hold off the team car. Final circuit white flag for the 15 of Damon Eckhoff. Fred Hopkins slides up into the wall in turn one on the final circuit. They're going to race back to the checkered. Hopkins got sideways entering turn one, was in the number five spot. Not real heavy damage to the car, but heavy enough where he's unable to drive it around to the finish line. Ekhoff will pick up his second victory at the track this year. Second to Sturkowitz, third place to Lane, fourth to Atkinson, finishing fifth. Hannah, sixth to Steve Blair. And the seventh spot, Brandon Mefford, eighth place, Menick. Ninth is Elden Wright. Tenth is Rick Sullivan in the 20. Bad break for Fred Hopkins as he was on the final circuit. We'll get a word with our top five in just a moment. 